friends, welcome to Storytime with King Trevor. We sure have enjoyed this past week of stories about fairy tales, far off lands, and imaginations running wild. We sure would love to do this again, so we may be back at another time with more stories. Come on in. Hi, King Trevor. Well, hello, Library Lady Terry and Chanel. How Come are on you in. Today? Great to see you again. You look wonderful. Thank you. What story have you brought us today? I have got the Little Mouse's painting. Well, this looks like a fabulous story yeah. to end our story time with. Thank you very much. And here's the last week's book. Okay, I shall take that and put it back in the library for the other children to Well, read. thank you for all the stories and You're coming You're welcome. By. Bye. Library Lady Terry, she is wonderful. And this book is a perfect one to end our story time with. Little Mouse's Painting. This looks like such a great book to read, and it goes with our theme of painting, which we all love to do. I wonder who that could be. Hi, Trevor. Well, hello, it's Patty the Painter. What are you doing today? I've just come in to continue work on my painting. Well, that is wonderful. While you do that, we're gonna read this book about Little Mouse's Painting. Little Mouse's Painting by Diane Wolkstein, pictures by Marianne Begin. I see a flower, you see a tree, I see you, you see me. We see what we want to see in Little Mouse's Painting. Little Mouse lived in her own pretty house under the earth. She had a sweet smelling bed made of pine wood and hot honeysuckle vines a small braided rug, and a painting by her grandmother that hung on the wall over her cupboard. Every day, Little Mouse ate her breakfast of berries and nuts, made her bed, and went up the steps to visit her friends. Bear, Squirrel, and Porcupine were Little Mouse's friends. Some days, she picked berries and nuts with Bear. Ho, ho! Bear would shout whenever he found a particularly fine batch of berries. Ah, ah, he would sigh as he happily ate them. Some days, Little Mouse was invited to Squirrel's tree house and had tea and crackers and flowers. Squirrel loved flowers. Sometimes he arranged them carefully in acorn cups and sometimes he ate them. Other days, Little Mouse went for long walks with Porcupine. Porcupine never walked in a straight line but wandered from one side of the path to the other. She'd often stop and look at something closely and say, oh, look at that stone. Just look at that stone. Or look at that cloud, just look at that cloud. Then Little Mouse would also pause and examine the stone or quietly stare at the ground. But one evening, even though she liked to see her friends, Little Mouse decided she would do something by herself. She decided she would make a painting. The next morning, Little Mouse set up her grandmother's easel near a blueberry bush and began to paint. The sun shone on her. She made long, thin strokes. She made short, thick strokes. She painted all morning, singing as she worked and only stopped from time to time for a snack of berries. By afternoon, her painting was finished and she was looking at it as she heard thump, thump, thump. It was Bear, Little Mouse hid behind a tree. Ho, ho, cried Bear. That's a beautiful painting. A bear must have painted that painting. No, cried Little Mouse coming from behind the tree? I did. You asked Bear, surprised? Yes, me. Well, I like the bear in the middle of the painting. It's not a bear, it's a blueberry bush. It's a bear, it's a blueberry bush. Where, cried Squirrel from his tree. Squirrel looked from Bear to the painting and said, what bear, what bear, that's a squirrel. Where, what squirrel, cried Bear and Little Mouse together. Squirrel pointed at the bottom of the painting. No, said Little Mouse, shaking her head. That's a daisy. A daisy? That's a squirrel. It's a daisy. Stop! shouted Bear. Let's go see Porcupine. She's sure to know. Bear thumped along with carrying the easel. Squirrel raced ahead with the paintbrushes, and Little Mouse went the slowest, for she was holding the painting. When they arrived at Porcupine's house, Bear called, Porcupine, please come out. We have something important to show you. Porcupine came out of her house and saw Bear, Squirrel, and Little Mouse staring at a painting, which they had placed under an elm tree. She stared too. Then she said, 
Look at the porcupine. Just look at that porcupine. What porcupine? Where? cried Squirrel, Bear, and Little Mouse. There, porcupine said, pointing at the top of the painting. No, no, the others shouted. That's Bear. That's Squirrel. No, no, Little Mouse cried. But no one paid any attention to her. So she said to the elm, perhaps you would like to know what I think. Yes, good then. I'll tell you. The sun is at the top. The blueberry bush is in the middle, and the daisy with the leaf is at the bottom. I know. How do I know? I know because I painted it. Well now, said Porcupine, I think I'll take a closer look. Porcupine went up very close to the painting. Look, she cried. Squirrel went up very close to the painting. A flower and a leaf, how yummy, he said. Then Bear went up to the painting. Ho, ho, he shouted. The blueberry bush, I see the blueberry bush. From close up, I can see the blueberry bush. And I can see the sun's rays, said Porcupine. Do you know, I think the blueberry bush looks a lot like you, Bear. Hmm, sighed Bear, quite pleased. It's a beautiful painting, said Squirrel. Leave it here for us to look at, said Porcupine. Little Mouse left her painting on the easel all day. But when the stars came out, she rolled it up, picked up her grandmother's easel, and carried the painting and the easel and the paintbrushes to her home. Little Mouse hung the painting on the wall opposite her bed. She sat on her bed and looked at the painting. She walked around her room and looked at it from many different places. She sat on her rug. She jumped up on her cupboard. She sat on her bed again. Then she said, Bear is right. When I sit on my bed, far from the painting, the blueberry bush looks like Bear. But I'm very, when I'm very close to the painting, the blueberry bush looks just like the blueberry bush. Little Mouse, her supper of berries and nuts, she drank a glass of water and tucked herself into bed. From her bed, she looked at the painting of bear, squirrel, and porcupine. Then she closed her eyes, smiled happily, and said, Good night, squirrel. Good night, porcupine. Good night, bear. Good night, my friends. I'm glad you're all in my painting. And Little Mouse fell asleep. Soon she began to dream. And in her dream, she saw clouds, trees, and stones, all of which looked a little like bear, squirrel, porcupine, and Little Mouse. Isn't that a great story? It's all about creating and having fun and using your imagination. Patty the Painter, wow, what have you done? Don't you just love it? It reminds me of being in my own garden. That sure is lovely. That is what we hope to have all you kids do out there. Keep creating, keep having fun, keep enjoying. And thank you very much for tuning into Storytime with King Trevor. And don't forget about our magic word. Go to our website, www.missionartscouncil.ca, and look for the word of the day, the magical word. If you were the first to email us at macart.shaw.ca, you could win this art in a bag filled with treasure to do your own creating. Well, that's all for us today, story time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care, be well. See you in the kingdom at some other time.